Shalom everyone and welcome to today's scripture with the Yabaji. And today's scripture is Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. As you go throughout your day and you get ready for the tasks that you're going to be participating in throughout your day, ask yourself this question. Who am I fighting against today? Who is my real enemy? Think about that. Many times we find ourselves in arguments. There may be some strife that's going on between you and family members, between you and some neighbors, or co-workers. Like I said, if you're in business, you may be having some problems with some business associates, some business competitors people in the community and you're looking at that person or that family member or those groups of people as your enemy or as the person that you're really fighting against but right here in Ephesians six twelve, it says for we wrestle not against flesh and blood That means that there is some something spiritual that's going on behind the scenes. When you find yourself in conflict with another person. See, we always want to live in this, you know, physical realm. But the spiritual realm is more real than what you can actually see with your natural eye. Remember that. There are demonic spirits that are working all the time in your family, on your job, in your neighborhood, in your businesses, in your churches, Unfortunately, sometimes in your assemblies, they're working all the time. The devil has his demons working all of the time. He doesn't take a break. We may take a break, but he doesn't. So you have to remember who your enemy is and what's really going on. And they're telling you the different levels of demonic forces that you're dealing with in spiritual warfare basically telling you stop just looking at your conflict as with another person but you're dealing with principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness and high places now you can have demonic spirits that have that control a city that can that controls a, a state that controls a country you can go to different visit different places and you can see different sins that are prevalent that is almost like the norm when you go visit that state or you go visit that city or you go visit that country. That's because there is a ruling demon that is over that particular area. You may see a, a family and it seems like they are having a problem with a particular area sin in that family 
that's because there is a demonic stronghold, a particular one. It might be alcohol. It might be addiction to drugs. It might be addiction to gambling. It might be a situation where everybody ends up in divorce. Okay, you may see uh, a family that everybody's overweight. There, there might be a situation where um, people deal with, um, you know, uh, anorexia or bulimia. You might have a situation where, you know, there's a, there's people you see them all the time, and they're always gossiping, or they're lying, or they're cheating. Okay, there's a demon behind those things. So we've got to stop looking at everything from the standpoint of, oh, we're just looking at that person or that group of people and saying, oh, they're just bad. Well, guess what? There's a demonic spirits that are ruling and reigning and abiding in that person's life. You got to remember that this is a spiritual war warfare. This is a spiritual battle that takes place all the time. It never stops and never quits. And if you are not careful, if you don't have on your whole, the whole armor of Yah, you can get beat down by these principalities, these powers, the rulers of the darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness in high places. You think about governments and how corrupt they are. Okay? That's spiritual wickedness in high places. There's some things going on in this world, in the governments of this world, that are wicked and demonic. And it's all part of the spiritual warfare that is taking place behind the scenes of the natural physical realm that we can see. You know, so the kingdom of darkness has an order. It has a hierarchy. And it's laid out right here. And if you don't understand spiritual warfare, if you don't understand your enemy, one of the first things that they tell you, basically in the art of war, is to know who your enemy is. You've got to know who you're fighting. So as you go throughout your day today, remember to be strong in Yah and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of Yah and remember that you are not fighting against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So you must be spiritually ready to participate and fight in the battle that's going on each and every day. As you go throughout your day, give the Most High Yah high esteem today. Keep Him first in every area of your life. Give Him the Hallelujah praise today. Praise Him, worship Him. Have a blessed day. And with that, I will leave you with Shalom.